Hello, my name's Andy Hartley. I'm a climate impact scientist at the Met Office and I use um, satellite data with climate models to understand how the climate has affected the vegetation over a long period of time and how it will affect it in the future. One of the ways we use it is to monitor the land surface so that we can provide better inputs into climate models. One of the ways we do that is by uh, monitoring the land cover. Um, we can use satellites to, to map very accurately the land cover and this land cover then can be used in our climate models to, as a representation of the land surface to the model. And this helps us to understand things like the, the sources of carbon on the land and how that affects the, the atmosphere. It also helps us to understand how the, the, uh, the land stores heat and moisture and how that might affect weather systems and the climate in general. The second way that satellite data can be used in climate science is to understand how our models validate against observed changes in vegetation over a long period of time. In climate science, we, we require a long time series of data and fortunately, satellites have been observing the Earth's surface for 30 years now. So this gives us a long record of how the vegetation has changed according to climate. One um, potential use of, of uh, satellite data is to, is to validate the dynamic vegetation in our climate models. The climate models simulate vegetation and they simulate how the vegetation responds to changing carbon dioxide or changing temperature or changing precipitation patterns. And we, we can use satellite data to, to validate whether these changes are in the model are performing as we have observed in, in, the, um, in the recent past. So by using satellite data to validate our models in the past, this gives us a lot better confidence in our models for the future.